Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. This is my monthly series that I created that I do just to go through some of my categories that either I need to check up on to see if there's anything I need to get rid of or just to show some love. So this is my July version of What's on Deck. Before we get into it, you know what I'm going to ask you. If you would be so kind, please do all of the things. And you know that I've got it on the screen because I never ever actually get it right when I try and say it, so I found this is easier. Okay, so what I decided to do last month was go through my eye crayons and see what I have, what they look like, if I even like them, or what I want to do. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Well, I tell you the truth all the time. But I'm going to tell you, I didn't touch the NYX in the purple. Um, what color was this one? Oh, purple velvet. Purple velvet. I have never touched this. I did take the plastic off, but I've never even swatched it. I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. And then this one is in sh Sherbert, I think. Yeah, this one is in Sherbert. It's kind of a, I don't know, it might be a metallic peachy orange. It looks pretty, but these are not things that I really do use a ton. So instead of opening it and using it a couple times, I'm just going to pass those along. But what I did do, and I didn't have a huge collection of these, thank goodness, because they're not my favorite thing, but I did go through all of the others. I have an Ulta one. I have the Laura Mercier that I got in my Laura Mercier Macy's box because they did a month for all Laura Mercier, so I got to try that. I have two lawn combs, and I think these came with some kind of a bundle thing where, you know, you get the big promo thing with a purchase. I'm pretty sure that's how I got these because I don't think I bought them. Maybe? I, I don't have any idea. And then I found one lone old Mary Kay one that I actually do have on. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have it on today. Um, and it's different than anything else I have in my collection. So I'm popping a picture on the screen here so you can see all of the colors because I know that it's goofy today and you probably can't see everything anyway. And I'm using the phone again for the videos. So, um, okay, I've rambled long enough that you should have gotten a good view of all of those. I'm probably gonna pass along the Ulta one I don't love the consistency of it, so I'm eliminating almost half of what I had for eye crayons. The others I'm going to keep because they're one-of-a-kind colors, they're one-of-a-kind formulas, and I'm going to actually try and maybe get them in some projects so I do show them some more love. Um, I enjoyed using them. I've been using them as eyeshadow bases for the most part, although some of them can also be used as like an eye liner. I don't know if you could do it in the waterline. An under or lash line eyeliner. Um, they're eye crayons, guys. I don't have a lot to say about them. Okay, so what I am going to be doing for the next month is playing with some nail polish. I've told you before, I am notoriously bad with doing my nails. Horrid. Absolutely horrid. So I ordered a bundle from Lisa, Makeup by Lisa. I'm going to have that link down below. If you want to go to her site, I've also gotten a palette from her, which you've seen on my channel that I absolutely love. And I thought, well, these are just really fun. I wanted some holographic stuff. She had them. She had a bundle. And so I ordered it. So if I have these right, because I don't know exactly which is which, they don't have labels on them at all anywhere. But this, I don't know what all colors you're seeing. This one is a Bees and Nights. It is listed as a pink, orange, bronze, metallic. So I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, I know that one's a Bees and Nights. I got that one right. Here's where I may have screwed up. I think this is Candy Aurora Pastel. It's, or Candy Aurora, it's pastel pink, peach, and green. The uh, punctuation wasn't great on the site either. But I'm pretty sure that's that one. And then this one, I think, is the Fusion one. This is blues, pink, and peach. So I may have these two backwards, I don't know, but either way, they're, they're both lovely and they're fun holographic shades and so I want to use them. And then the fourth one in that bundle is called Voodoo. This is brown, black, and red. Okay, I'm also popping a picture from the website of this bundle up so you can see these better than what I'm showing you with my system. But my goal for this is I want to use these, every one of these, at least once. Maybe one over the other, maybe I'll pull some other things from my collection, whatever it may be fingers, toes, I don't care. I just want to get all of these on my nails at least once to see how long they last, to see what I think of them, to try them in different ways, maybe try them over some different things. So 
hopefully you'll see videos coming up in the month of July that I actually have nail polish on. Fingers crossed, you guys. I'm really horrible with this stuff. But if anybody out there can tell me a decent and relatively inexpensive nail polish thinner, I got some really old stuff that I would love to thin out a little bit so I could get some more use out of it because there's a few colors that I have that I really enjoy. But my stuff is old. I just recently bought these and a few other shades. And that's the first time in years that I bought nail polish. So I need to get better about using it. I need to actually see if I can get some decent thinner to get some use out of some of the older shades in my collection. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad for the crazy train today, hopefully. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for following along with uh, my goofy playing around with my makeup collection. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are or night, whatever it might be. Until next time, you guys. See ya. Bye.